Zebras from Safari. We're in front of this Ram truck. We're going to meet these two owners in a minute. They're, they're towing a Zone RV Summit Series there. And come and meet uh, Katrina and Paul from Dubbo. Yes, Welcome. Hi, Bruce. Now, Paul, you spent a lot of money on putting much bigger power in the truck and the van. You, you're sort of nearly at that record level. Tell me, why have you done it? Oh, mate, the main reason is because when we free camp or go away, my lovely wife wants to use the air conditioner. She likes to use a hairdryer. You know, we've got a few pipe pizza ovens. The oven grill. The oven grill and whatnot. But, yeah, when we're away, I just don't want to have to have, you know, we've got the air conditioner on, and if we've got three days of bad weather, I don't want to have to run out and end the holiday because I've got no power. I'd rather look at it than look for it, and that's the reason why. And no genset? No genset, mate. Yeah, I'm clearly against the genset. I just don't see why I need to do that in 2023. <laughs> You're right there. Now, Katrina, what do you like about this system? Oh, I'm just excited to think we can go away and I don't have to worry about what I'm going to use power-wise. Um, and actually, the pink lights is a bonus. <laughs> the I pink love light. Those. Yeah. Look at that. Can everyone see that pink light up there? I put that in specially. I didn't tell Katrina beforehand. We're just going to show you we've put for Paul here the latest uh, Victron display. Let me just go back here into the overview again, uh, into the beginning of this. And the logic here, this is power in. So we're getting 330 watts of solar coming in. That's the power going out. That's the fridges. And we're running the Starlink. And then we've got the overview button here that shows you the battery charging, 91%. We can see some detail on the solar that's here. We can also touch the inverter here and have a look at it and turn the inverter on and off. It's very nice, very compact. And uh, then let's have a look at the levels. So we've added in the tank monitor in here. And if we touch environment here, you can see the freezer and the fridge temperature, right? One's minus 18 and the other is 8 degrees C. One last thing here, what Katrina's holding up on the phone is Starlink online that you can see there. So up on top of the van, I'm going to climb up and have a look and show you. We've got the Starlink fitted. And what Paul and Katrina decided was to put that into the RAM. The van is connected through to it, so when they're away, they'll get everything. All the streaming TV, everything, the footy, the whole lot will be occurring there on the ram. And then they were just saying at home they can park this next door to their house in the in the carport in Dubbo and stream the smart TV in through the Starlink to get your money's worth. That's correct. Yep. That's correct. How good's that? That'd be awesome. We're in this lovely Zone RV, and it truly is absolutely beautiful in here. And we've got Paul and Katrina with us, and I'll just show you what we've done. So this is Paul's pub bed. And that is that the solar on the top here, we're now at 840. Before that was 900. We just, the, the sun has just dropped a little bit. You see the air con here that's running is 900. This was, this was getting more power than the air con. So it's within 50 watts at the moment. It's about four amps. But have a look down here in the batteries. The batteries are charging. So they're charging down here at 612 watts because we're connected to the vehicle. And we've got Scotty running. So Scotty is charging the vehicle and charging the van. So right now, with this setup, he can run the aircon all the way back to Dubbo, and the Solar and the Scotty will both run the aircon in the van and charge the battery. Paul, how good's that? Oh, mate, that's brilliant because I've got a few free cartons coming my way from a few boys in Dubbo, but I try to explain them that you know, by the time I'm finished, I'll be able to you know, run my air conditioner and still not take any charge out of the battery. You know, just by having the car running as well as going down the road, it's just unbelievable. I can just do. Yeah, to have my air running eight hours a day if I want to, and still not lose any charge of your batteries, mate. I'm got, I've got some free grog coming. I can tell you, <laughs> that's excellent. And driving down the road now, while this is running, cools the whole inside of the van. And you lose less power overnight, less battery need, is needed overnight. Yeah. I've got to say, how good's that? 